Okay, so we're gonna start by just taking a big breath, just standing with our arms by our sides. Big breath in and roll the shoulders down and do that a couple more times, lengthening the spine. Now start to make the arms bigger. Let's reach them up and look up and bend the knees in our forward fold and release the head and let's step our right leg back and take a couple of breaths just lengthening the heel away from us deepening the stretch and then we're going to step back with our left leg in downward dog and lift the right leg up and let's step our right leg forward and extend through the left heel and take a couple of breaths and then we're going to step back again downward dog and let's come down into a child's pose and take a few breaths And let's walk our arms to the right. And then over to the left. And let's come to the center and into our puppy pose. And down into Sphinx. And start to inhale a little bit more deeply into the belly. And then we're going to come all the way down and stretch our arms over our head. And let's do some belly rollouts. And stretch the entire time, kind of wake everything up. And roll one more time to each side. And let's come back to the center. And now we're going to bend the right leg and lift and lower the right leg up and down 10 times. Kind of wake up the back of the leg and the hip. And one more. And then we're going to switch our legs and do the same thing with the left leg. And one more. And then let's press ourselves back to another child's pose. and keep lengthening the fingers forward. Let's come back to our downward dog and take a few breaths here to lengthen, release the head. And we're going to lift the right leg up and then step it forward to a lunge and reach our right arm up. And then come back to downward dog and switch legs, left leg lifts up and let's step it forward and lift the left arm up in a twist. And come back to down dog and forward to plank and back to dog and do a few more. Waking everything up, extending through the heels as you come forward. And one more time.
and we're going to come back to downward dog and walk all the way forward to the top of our mat. And let's come all the way up, reaching the arms up, hands to our heart, twist the upper body to the right and then to the left and to the center. And we're going to inhale up forward fold and step our right leg back let's bring the knee down and reach up in crescent lunge twist to the left cross the arm over hands together take another couple of breaths And let's lift the right leg up and extend through that right heel. Right fingertips down, left arm up. And let's step back, downward dog. And lift the right leg up. We're going to step it forward. And let's come halfway up here. Forward fold and come all the way up hands to our heart twist to the left and then to the right and the center and let's do the other side inhaling up forward fold left leg steps back knee down and arms up in crescent lunge three breaths We're going to twist to the right and cross our left arm over, hands together. Now let's curl those toes under, lift the left leg up and extend through the heel. And then left hand down, right arm up. Let's come back to downward dog and then left leg lifts up and steps forward and the right. Let's come halfway up, forward fold and inhale all the way up and hands to our heart. Let's take a couple of breaths here. Feel the spine lengthening. And we're going to lift the right knee up and do our can can. Five, four, three, two, one, and warrior three, right leg back. Now we're going to step it back, warrior one, and three breaths. Arms lengthen forward, right hand down, left arm up. And then let's bring our both arms up or both palms up together over our head. And we're going to clasp our hands behind us and come into humble warrior. And three breaths. And we're coming up in our back bend. And lift the arms up. We're going to step forward. We're back in Tadasana and take a couple more breaths. Now let's lift our left knee up and do our can can. Five, four, three two and one warrior three left leg back now we're going to step back so warrior one three breaths
and arms lengthen forward, left hand down, right arm up. And then we're going to come on up and bring our palms together. And let's clasp our hands for humble warrior. And then three more breaths. And come up in our back bend and open the throat. And then reach the arms up. And let's step forward and we're back in Tadasana. And then Utkatasana. Forward fold and two more times. Come a little deeper into the hips. And then into our forward fold. Three breaths. We're going to step back. Downward dog, three breaths here. And let's come forward to a regular plank and do some mountain climbers and really stretch out the back of the legs. And then we're gonna come down in Chaturanga and our five cobras. And one more. Now we're going to hold both ankles. So bending the legs, holding the ankles, and flexing the feet. And breathe. Now we're going to lift up, still holding the ankles, five breaths. And one more breath. And let's release that. And we're going to press back to another child's pose. And let's walk our arms to the right. And then over to the left. and back to the center. And we're gonna come up to hands and knees and then reach the arms up over our heads for our back bend, doing a little pelvic tilt. And let's come back to our hands and knees position and a few cat cows. and use the complete breath. Let's do one more complete movement. And then we're gonna come back up with our arms over our head, palms together. Step our right leg forward to that 90 degree position and start to lengthen the arms up. So we're going to lengthen here for a little back bend and then twist to the right, release the arms, cross the arm over, hands together. And then let's reach the arms up over our head. Another little back bend. And let's come back to all fours. 
Take another deep breath. So we're going to come back with the arms up over our head, palms together. Step the left foot forward so we're 90 degrees. And lengthen upwards. Now let's twist to the left and cross the arm over, hands together. And then reach the arms up again. Take another couple of breaths, a little back bend. And then we're going to come back to all fours and sit back into child's pose. So we're going to come into puppy pose, but put the elbows down, hands behind our head for a deeper stretch. And three more breaths. Now let's come to a half arm plank, curling the toes under. And let's come on up to dolphin and walk the feet forward. So we're on our toes. So we're getting that nice lift in the hips. Now let's reach the right leg up. We've been working on this. And put the foot down. And then left leg up. And put the foot down. And let's sit back on our heels and bring our arms behind us. And one more breath. So we're going to sit up on our heels and we're twisting to the right. And then twist to the left. And then to the center, we're going to clasp our hands behind us. Inhale and look up, stretching the spine, little back bend. And then forward fold into rabbit, head down and hips up. Three breaths. And then sit back on the heels. So we're going to release our hands. Take the hands down and lift the hips up for another back bend. And let's make our way to table pose. And when we get here, we're going to do our tricep push-ups, just five of them. And then let's put our bottoms down and we're going to do our big V and come into turtle. So however you can get there, if you can reach your hands underneath the feet, the ankles, we're going to hinge forward and take five slow breaths. And then let's release that. So now we're just going to roll down on our back. So we can do a little setu bandha and roll the hips up. And we've been working on these back bends. So walk your arms closer together so you can lift a little higher. And take a few more breaths, stretching the back. And then let's roll down and we're going to bring our knees to our chest and make a few circles, stretching the back even more. And 
and we're going to circle in the opposite direction. And then let's lift the legs straight up, hands on our shins. We're going to do our forward fold, but on our back. See if you can grab a hold of the big toes and lengthen and roll the shoulders down. And breathe deeply. Now we're going to open our legs, still holding the big toes straddle position and press the hips down and let's take three more breaths and then we're bringing we're closing our legs and let's release and bring the feet back down to the mat and we're going to roll the hips up again another satu bandha and let's see now if we can put our hands on our hips and hold the hips up and take three breaths. And we're going to lift the right leg up and put it down and then switch left leg up and put that down and let's hold ourselves up for three more breaths and we're going to slowly slowly lowering down and knees come back to the chest let's lift our chest up to the thighs stretching the whole spine and then hands behind our head we're going to put our feet down and just do a few um, crunches here. Just an easy does it kind of crunch to release any tension in the back. And the next time we're going to lengthen our legs up as we lift up. Bend and put the feet down and nine more. Squeezing the legs together. And notice how you're rolling up and rolling down on your spine. And we've got two more times. And let's put our feet down, arms down. One more time, we're going to roll the hips up. Another Satu Bandha. And feel the difference in your whole back. Three breaths. And we're going to slowly lower down and let's do a spinal twist while we're here. Knees over to the right, left arm to the left and three breaths. And then rolling the legs over to the left, right arm out to the right and three breaths. So let's just roll over to the left side and we're going to come to a seated position and sit cross-legged and see how our spine feels. Let's look up and then we're going to forward fold, hinging forward. And let's walk our arms to the right. And then over to the left. And to the center. 
And we're going to come on up and twist to the right and reach the right arm up. We're going to lean over to the left leg as we lengthen. And two more breaths. And we're slowly coming back up, right arm down, and let's twist to the left and lengthen. And reach the left arm up, let's lengthen over to the right thigh and breathe. And gently coming back up and back to the center. And now we're just gonna do our side stretch, right forearm down and left arm over. And let's go to the other side, left forearm down, right arm over. And we're going to come back to the center. And let's come back over to hands and knees. And we're going to lift up into downward dog and take a few breaths and feel what we've just done. So you can come up on your toes, breathe into the stretch. And let's lift the right leg up, step the leg forward, and we're coming up to high lunge, reaching the arms up. We're gonna bring our palms together over our head. And now leaning to the right, little side stretch. And then leaning to the left. Back to the center. Let's take three more breaths. And we're going to reach forward and come back to a downward dog. And let's switch sides. Left leg up, step our leg forward, and we're going to come up into a high lunge. Bringing the palms together over our head, looking up. And we're leaning to the left. And then over to the right. And then to the center for three more breaths. Now let's reach forward so we can come back to downward dog and feel the lengthening of the spine. And let's come forward to up dog and back to down dog. And then one more time forward to up dog and back to down dog. We're going to lift our right leg up. Let's come into warrior two. And we're coming a little wider, a little deeper. And reverse, left arm down, right arm up. And then side angle, right forearm down, left arm over. We're gonna slide our right fingertips down to the inside of the right foot, left arm up. And let's come back to warrior two.
And we're going to straighten that leg out and come into Trikonasana. And let's reach to the right and take three more breaths. And then a half moon. Let's lift our left leg up. And let's come back to triangle and take three breaths. And we're going to come all the way up into our prasarita, hands to hips, and let's come into our back bend. And forward fold. And we're going to go side to side with our legs, transverse lunges. Now let's walk ourselves to a right side lunge and lift the right arm up. And let's go over to a left side lunge. And the same thing, we're going to lift the left arm up. Let's come back to our regular prasarita here. We're going to hold our ankles, three breaths for a deeper forward fold. And let's come all the way up and into our back bend. And warrior two, left foot out. And reverse, right arm down, left arm up. And then our forearm comes down to the left thigh and open the chest. Let's slide our fingertips down to the inside of the left foot with the right arm up. And then warrior two. And then straightening the leg for Trikonasana. And then half moon, let's lift our right leg up. Come back to Trikonasana, and we're going to take three deep breaths. And then let's reach all the way up, and we're going to bring our palms together over our head, and lengthen forward, and downward dog arms and take a few breaths here to lengthen the whole back. And now we're going to bring our hands back. Let's come all the way up and into our goddess pose. So feet out and we're going to open and close the arms. Now let's do goal post arms, lean to the right. And then lean to the left.
and then to the center and take three more breaths. And let's inhale up. We're going to come back to down dog. And take three breaths here. And let's walk to the top of our mat. And let's come in our halfway up position. So we're going to hold this for a second. Feel the lengthening of the chest, the hips are lifting. And then forward fold. And we're going to come all the way up to standing and reach the arms up. Hands to our heart. And let's come in to dancer. We're going to lift the right knee up and hold the right ankle and left arm up. And we're going to turn this into our warrior three, right leg back. Now we're going to lift the same right knee up in front of us for that can-can position. And now we're going to take the knee open and closed. A few more. And last one. And then right foot down and take a couple of breaths. Now we're going to lift the left knee up and come into dancer and hold the left ankle, right arm up. And then warrior three, left leg back. Now let's lift the left knee up in front of us. And we're going to do the same thing. Open and close the leg five times. And one more. And then left foot down. Let's just stand here for a few breaths and feel. Feel the feet, feel the spine lengthening, shoulders rolling down. And we're going to try tree pose. So right foot down, left leg up. Arms up when you're ready. Let's take our left leg out. We're leaning to the right and bringing the leg in and out five times. And then left foot down, we're going to switch our tree pose and bring the right leg up and arms up. And lengthen the spine. Now let's take our right leg out, we're leaning to the left. We're going to bring the right leg in and out five times. And then right foot down. Let's bring our arms down by our sides 
and roll the shoulders up back and down. We're gonna clasp our hands and inhale, looking up, little back bend, forward fold, and you can bend your legs a little bit. And let's take a few breaths here. And we're gonna come all the way back up, still holding the hands behind us and look up, opening the chest. And then let's come back to neutral and bring our hands to our heart for three breaths. And we're going to come into pyramid. Let's step our right leg back. Another back bend, lifting up through the heart. Forward fold. And two more breaths. And let's inhale up. And as we come all the way up, let's bring our arms up, another back bend. This time, as we come forward, we're going to revolve this and take our right hand down to the outside of the left foot. Put the left hand on our low back. And breathe. And lengthen the spine. And one more breath. So looking down, let's reach both arms up. We're coming back to our back bend and breathe. And now we're going to step forward, hands to our heart, and take a few breaths. Just feel. And let's step back with the left leg for pyramid. Hips are square. We're coming into our back bend. And then forward fold, chest to thigh. And one more breath. And let's come all the way up. And here we go. We're going to reach the arms up another back bend. And as we lengthen forward, left hand down to the outside of our right foot. And one more breath. So we're looking down, let's reach both arms up and come back to our back bend, lengthening the spine. And we're going to come forward and bring our hands to our heart and back into Tadasana. And then Utkatasana. Now we're going to twist to the right, crossing our left elbow over there, deeper twist. And let's twist to the left, left right elbow over the left thigh. Back to Utkatasana. And forward fold, and we're going to hold our elbows here and release the head. And then release the arms. Let's come down into our squat and take a few breaths. And let's take three more breaths.
And we're going to come down and let's sit cross-legged again. And we're going to put the, well, whatever leg you didn't put in front the last time. Let's just close our eyes here and breathe. And notice the spine lengthening and shoulders rolling down. And let's take a few more breaths, just noticing your breath. Feel the difference from all those back bends. So we're going to open our eyes. We're going to put our hands down by our hips and just look up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then let's come into our forward fold here, reaching forward and releasing the head. And feel that wave-like movement in your spine as you reach your fingers forward. And we're going to walk our arms over to the right, a deeper stretch. And then walk our arms over to the left. Enjoy the stretch. And let's walk our hands to the center and we're going to sit up again. And we're going to flip our palms up and close our eyes and take three breaths. And feel the complete breath in the belly, opening the ribs and lifting the upper chest. And we're going to open our eyes and let's roll down on our back and let's come into our happy baby. And just see about our hips and breathe. And release the tongue and the jaw. And three more breaths. And let's bring our feet together in Baddha Konasana. And then we're going to put our feet down and come back to our Satu Bandha, rolling the hips up and breathing. And today we're going to use our block underneath our hips for our Viprita Karani. So we're going to put that block under there. And if you don't want to do Viprita Karani, you can keep your feet down. Otherwise, lift the legs up and let's close our eyes and continue with our breath for our final pose. And feel the breath in the belly and the difference of your whole body as you breathe. And once again, feeling that complete breath as your ribs open and there's more energy into the thyroid and the parathyroid. And the sense of weightlessness for our whole body as we relax deeper and deeper. And with each inhale, 
we're bringing in beautiful prana and energy into every cell of our being. Making a wish for good health for all of our cells and molecules. Peace for our homes and families and communities. And peace to our brothers and sisters everywhere. And now just one more breath. And we're going to transition and bend our legs and put our feet back on the mat. And we're going to lift our hips and take the block out and roll to the side. And let's come on up. And we're going to sit cross-legged and bring our hands to our heart to seal in our practice today together. Let's take a deep inhale and sigh. One more time. Namaste. Thanks everybody for coming today. And I hope you have a wonderful, I guess it's Wednesday, so this is a good thing, right? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Everybody. Thanks so much, Marion. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. Take care. Uh, you too.